All the nations of the earth are a certain seed. We all come from Adam. That was changed in the genealogy of Noah and his three sons. That, that genealogy was, was changed around and iniquity was put in the seed of man. Adam put the iniquity of his seed in Cain. And there was a cursed seed in that lineage. Nimrod came through that seed. Um, uh, but here, God wiped all that seed off the earth. Wiped it all off except Noah and his three sons. But here, iniquity comes back in. And now we have the three sons. Besides Adam's seed, now we have the three sons and their seed and their curse and their blessings. And now we come from those seeds. But then in Christ, that one seed, in Christ, that one seed, we come back. So I don't ever let anybody uh, fool with my mind about my nativity or, or where I come from or my that's, genealogy that's wiped out I, that's gone if any man be in Christ he is, he is. He is. He is. oh yes thank God what freedom we have thank Amen. God yes we, we, don't, we, don't, we don't know our freedom as children of God we, we're not of any cursed seed we're not of this and that and the other we were Gentiles under the, the old seed but that seed has been made one in Christ. Um, so. Isn't it strange, though, that it said that he is not a Jew, which is one outwardly? And then it goes right all over to the seventh chapter and talks about the uh, different tribes. Where is that? Is that? Uh, yeah, he is, but he is not a Jew. Romans 2.28. Which is one outwardly. Be because I'll tell you why that is, Sister Martin. Natural man. Because the Jewish seed is the chosen seed. Uh, God will never let that seed be out of existence because that's the chosen seed. Uh, and and uh, so when, when people say, I'm of Christ, they're saying, I am of the seed of Israel. I'm a Jew because he was a Jew. But, uh, and, and we associate ourselves with Christ as a Hebrew, as a chosen seed, as a seed of Abraham. See, we're of, a, of our father Abraham. To identify us, Paul said, he's not a Jew now any longer, which is one out because God's done away with that too, just like he does away with the Gentile, yes. just like he does away with all the natural seeds, but... He's no longer a Jew that's one outwardly. So even Israel now, that's which will remain Israel as his chosen seed, and Jerusalem will remain his chosen city, but even they have to become inwardly a Jew. Inwardly a seed of Christ. Inwardly a seed of Christ. He is not a Jew which is one outwardly. See, but inwardly it, it, we have to become of Christ they were claiming they were the, of their father Abraham they, they, they told Christ we're of our father Abraham Is it, does it have to do with like the God loves the Israel that what I've heard you say that God loves Israel yes and Jesus loves the church, church. Yeah. see God Israel. God will always love Israel. Israel uh, is the chosen people. Uh, we can get into that in Romans real heavy. Uh, they're the chosen people. God will always keep the chosen people. But then, again, every one of them cannot remain just the chosen people. They have to become inwardly the chosen people. Amen. Other than, otherwise, they'll be cursed. You know, they can't just remain a natural nation. Uh -uh. They have to find Christ and become a Jew inwardly. Brother. When Paul was talking about a new creature, explain what he was talking about there. 
Be, uh, but if any man be in, that's a key word, in Christ, in Christ, that means I am in Christ as an overcomer, in Christ. Oh, I, I receive the Holy Spirit. I'm, I'm, I'm saved. I'm converted. I'm in Christ. No, Christ is in you. Yes. Yeah. But you're not yet in Christ until you learn His laws, keep His commandments, walk in His path. Then the more that you learn His law, the more you obey Him, the more you overcome the world, the more you live in Christ. You're getting in Christ. Christ is in you. When you repent of your sins, Christ comes in you, the hope of glory. But then you become in Christ, a new creation. See, uh, all things are become new. If, if you're walking in, a, but if we walk in the light, John 1, as he is in the light. If we walk in the light, the word, as he is, the word, then we, not you and me, we, him and us, uh, he, he and I, you and him, we have fellowship one with another. See, that, I can have fellowship with you while I'm becoming in Christ. But for me to walk with Christ in fellowship, I have to walk continually in the light, in the light, in the light. And I have fellowship with him. If I dart out in the darkness, have iniquity, become evil, uh, then I'm, I don't have fellowship with Christ. He doesn't partake of that. He does not do that with me. But as I walk in the light, it's a, salvation is both instantaneous and salvation is progressive. I'm a good Baptist. I really am a good Baptist. I'm more... I, because I believe what they believe. Once saved, always saved. I believe once saved, always saved. As long, as long as I walk with Christ. But I, I'm not once saved, always saved if I dart out into the world. and it, I can fall from grace. I can backslide. Uh, I used to work with an insurance uh, staff manager when I was uh, working on a job, and we first come to Braden to the church here, I got a job with a life insurance company. And uh, this staff manager, he was a Sunday school teacher uh, in, in that church I mentioned. And uh, he used to tell me on Monday, after we'd see one on Friday, and I'd come to church, and he'd, well, what'd you do over the weekend? Uh, he didn't call me brother, he said, John. I said, well, I went to church, sang, prayed, Praise the Lord, uh, talk, uh, preach. Well, I went out. I, I God understands. He said God understands. He knew I had I had to go out Friday night and have a good time. He said I I, I did some things, but uh, it's okay. My pastor told me I was saved. I was once saved. I couldn't be lost. I said Jim, I don't believe that. I believe you can be lost. Absolutely. Uh, if you're a, if you're an evil person, once you've known Christ, can can you fall away from grace? Yes, you I believe you can. Yes, you can. If you don't walk with the Lord, <laughs> He'll keep you if you keep your head in His. Yes. He'll love you if you love Him, but He's not going to love you if you go out into sin or to evil, sister. Yes, yes, that's perfect. Adam was a perfect picture of that. Perfect picture. All right. Now, my goodness, we, we you talk about the subject. Uh, you got two over here. <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, I know your time's gone, but uh, I, kept, I kept sitting there thinking, in Christ, how important that is. In Christ, in Christ, Jew, Gentile. In Christ, see. Paul used a term several places. He said, uh, "His name shall be great unto the Gentiles." Right. Well, still the key is in Christ, Jew, in Christ. Yeah. 
See, I'm saying that. I said, yeah. yeah. In Christ, in Christ, in Christ, his name shall be great. His name shall be great. His name shall be great. <coughs> in Christ. Christ. Unto the Gentile. Right, from the so rising of the sun and going down the same. And there's scriptures, there's several scriptures on that scene. So I was just looking at the comparison of the two. Neither Jew go back to the other one. Neither Jew or Gentile. Nor Greek. Or Greek. But that's, that's all the one in Christ. The seed. The seed. Christ, the one seed. In Christ. Yeah, that, if the seed remains. If the seed remains in him. Yeah. He, yeah, he cannot say. Oh, Lily, we got to get that scripture. We've got to deal with that. Well, Sister Ann will get you. Then we've got to get that scripture closed out. Sister Ann. I think Romans 8 1 is really good on that. There is not, therefore, no condemnation to them which are in Christ and Christ Jesus. And then it tells you who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Mm -hmm. That, that, that. So what makes you free from the law of sin and death? What makes you free? But the law of life makes us free from the law of sin and death. You have a law when you came to Christ and you would obey that law because you were a sinner. I was a sinner. The law of sin and death. Sin and die. The law. And I would, I would obey that law. I would obey that law. The only time I wouldn't and won't is when the law, another law, another law in my the mind. law of the spirit of life from Christ, his word, makes me free. So I don't have condemnation. I'm in Christ now here this afternoon. I, I flee to this place on Monday evening because I'm in Christ. Yes, sir. If there would be an earthquake, this building would shake down. Uh, right now, I am ready to see the Lord. Yeah. My nature is under control. My mind is under control. Yeah. I'm not practicing sin. I'm not rebellious. I'm not disobedient. I'm in Christ. I'm in Christ. I'm living in Christ right now. No sin. My nature is subdued. My spirit is subdued because of the Word of God. Because of the Word of God. So it's possible to live sinless. It is. Become an overcomer. It is. It is possible. It is possible. It's not possible for you to ever live to where you will not be tempted to sin. There, but you don't have to sin. Just because you're tempted to sin. You don't have to yield to that temptation. You will be flesh, a fleshly body, and you will be, and you will have sensations and feelings, and you will have a mind that can go down here in left field and be steered away, taken away of sin or the devil, if you allow that to work. James one explains that. Let no man say, when he is tempted, he is tempted of God. For God does not tempt any man with evil, neither can he be tempted. But every man, John Sturt, John Wallow, Ernest Ovia, every man is tempted when he's drawn away. What's he drawn away from? He's drawn away from Christ. So when he's drawn away, and then enticed. Looks good. I'm good. Okay. It'll happen. So, oh, we're good. And then it breaks forth death. Um, okay, Brother Josh. Well, have you enjoyed the Bible study? We never got to Isaiah 65. You almost got a drink. And all these other scriptures. 65 and 1. <coughs> Let me give you a, write these down. Got your pen and pencil? Study this at home. We're going to close the Bible study. Isaiah 65 and 1. 
This is on the subject of the Gentiles. Malachi 1 and 11. Isaiah 65 and 1. Malachi, you can abbreviate those, I-S-A-M-A-L, 1 and 11. Psalms 18. Psalms 18, 43 through 45. 43, 45. Deuteronomy 32, 21. Deuteronomy, D-E-U, 32, 21. Romans 11, 12. Roman, that's good, Romans. Oh, yeah. Romans 11, 12. 12. And finally, 1 Peter 2 and 10. 1 Peter 2 and 10. Study the, make a good Bible study at home. It's on this subject. Being in Christ, being overcomers, being a new seed. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed the Bible study tonight. I hope you have. May God bless you real good. Uh, time for the band to come in. And uh, may you have a good night. And everybody, go home praising the Lord. Thanking the Lord. <coughs>